In this video, you're going to discover the fourth step you need to solve any subnetting question. Hi, my name is Jolanda James and I'm an AWS and CCNA certified IT professional and the creator of the four column method subnetting cheat sheet. This is a four column method subnetting cheat sheet. Basically, it's just four columns you quickly create on exam day to help you answer questions like block size, um, the number of hosts, number of subnets, all of that good stuff. So if you don't have this cheat sheet in front of you, please watch this video to learn how to create it. Please subscribe. Okay, so now we're on part four of the five step subnetting process. You need to identify the next subnet. Once you have all the information, you need to figure out, okay, which one do you turn in? Because now you've identified the blocks of addresses that are available to you and you need to figure out which one is the correct answer for your question. So let me show you how. Okay, so the next step is to identify the next subnet. So we've established that this is the interesting octet and our block size is 64. So if we were gonna do the block size would be zero plus 64, 64, plus 64 is 128, plus 64 is 192, plus 64 is 256. All you have to do to identify the next subnet is to first find the group where your interesting octet lives. So it's 19. So 19 is going to be in this column. So the next subnet would be 64 because this one, you know, is going all the way up from zero to 63. So this is the one where your interesting octet would be in. This is the row you use to uh, calculate your answers. This is the next subnet. Okay, see, it's so simple. Once you have all the information, you can quickly determine the um, pieces of information you need to solve your submitting problem. And as we can see here, if we were going to plot it out, we would get the network address would be zero, the host range would be one, you know, et cetera. So 19 would fall within this host range right here. But I'm gonna show you how to calculate this in the next video. So that's how you identify the next subnet. You need to identify the block that your existing octet falls under and then note the next block. That's it. Okay, next video, we're going to put it all together so that you can quickly subnet any subnetting question. All right, see you in the next video. Please subscribe.